the next 14, 15 minutes, you would like to address some issues related to the mucosa. And uh, the question is, uh, what is the evidence related to attach mucosa uh, to maintain peri-implant uh, tissue health? And you can see the four points that I would like to address. First of all, uh, our treatment goals. Then, what is the evidence from the literature related to the role of attached or keratinized mucosa? We can discuss the issue of keratinization or attached uh, in order to maintain the health of the tissues. And then to propose some uh, treatment options as much as possible based on the literature. And uh, then we come to some conclusions. So, as a clinician, if I look at some uh, cases, and you can see some nice cases uh, treated by our colleague Dr. Iorio Siciliano. You can see some uh, implants placed um, at baseline, the quality of the hard tissues and of the soft tissues at baseline, and then after 10 years, we can clearly observe that the bone is on the right position and also the soft tissues are stable. So we would like to have a long-term functional success and a long-term aesthetic success. Another case, 2005, you can see the baseline situation, then the situation at six months, hard and soft tissues in the right position, then after five years, no change, and if you look at the case after 10 years, again, indicates um, very nice stability of the surrounding tissues.